Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install Python 3.14 on Mac. First, let me show you which version of Python is running on my Mac. To show you the version of Python running on my Mac, I'll have to first open the terminal. So, I'll first open the spotlight by pressing command space. And over here, I'm going to write terminal. Once it appears, I'm going to hit enter. And boom, terminal is open. Over here, I'm going to type Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version. I'm going to hit enter. And there you go. It shows Python 3.10.7. So this is the version of Python that is currently active on my Mac. And we are going to install Python 3.14.0 because that is the latest version of Python available on the official website of Python. Now, to install Python 3.14.0, you need to open Chrome or any browser of your choice. I have Chrome open. In the URL bar of Chrome, you are going to type Python download and you will hit enter. Now you will click on this first link which is from the website www.python.org. Do not download Python from any other website except this one because this is the official website of Python. After you have reached this website, you are going to bring your mouse cursor on downloads and a pop-up is going to appear. On this pop-up, you are going to see a button that is going to say Python 3.14.0. This is the latest version of Python available at the time of recording this video. If you are watching this video much later in the future, then you may find a further version of Python over here. And it will ask you to choose a folder where you want this Python installer to be downloaded. I am happy with the downloads folder, so I am going to hit the save button. You can see the installer has downloaded. You are now going to click on this icon to open the installer. There you see, the installer is up. This is the introduction window of the installer. You are straight away going to click on continue. You are going to click continue again. And you will click continue again. On the license window of the installer, if you are going to click continue, it is going to ask you to agree to the terms of the software license agreement. So here you will click on agree. And now it says that it's going to take 195.4 MB of space on your computer. So you must be okay with this. That means you must have this much space available on your Mac for the installation to begin. So you are going to click on install and it is going to ask for your username and password. Once you type in your password, you need to click on install software and you can see the installation has begun. It's going to take some time. And I think it is nearing its end. It says the installation was completed successfully. And here is the message for you. Congratulations, Python 3.14.0 for Mac OS 10.15 or later was successfully installed. Awesome. Now you are going to close the installer. It is going to ask you, do you want to move the Python installer to the bin? Yes, I want to move it to the bin and you should also move it to the bin. So, you are going to click on move to bin. We are done with the installation of Python 3.14.0. Now, what you are going to do, you will hit command space to open spotlight and then you are going to type terminal and you are going to open the terminal. In the terminal, now you are going to type Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version and Python 3.14.0 must reflect as the current version of Python on your Mac. And you see, it shows Python 3.14.0 as the current version running on my Mac. Let's test the running a Python program on idle. So you can either go to this folder of Python 3.14 and open idle from here, or you can click on applications, find the Python 3.14 folder, and you'll reach the same folder. So let's open idle. All right, we have idle shell open over here. We are going to type a simple line of code which will be print and uh, within uh, double quotes within its brackets we are going to write hello python and if we hit enter now it's going to print hello python and here is our first python program you can save this as well by clicking on file clicking on save as i am going to choose my location as desktop and uh, i'm going to write the file name as first python program if you click on save 
the python file is going to be saved in the chosen location and with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to install python 3.14.0 from this video of choice tech i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself